Data science is a scam. Universities use this fancy name to sell you very expensive courses. In today's video, we're going to demystify everything about data science coming from someone who studied a master's in data science and is also working as a professional data scientist. I'll give you all the ins and outs of being a data scientist and we'll understand deeper what a data scientist does. Is it really a scam? Is it really worth pursuing a degree? And so many other things that we're going to cover in this video. So if this sounds good to you, hit that like button, click on the subscribe, and let's dive into the video. We're going to cover five sections in this video. The first one is, what is a data scientist? The second one is, what is the path to becoming a data scientist? The third one is, what does a data scientist actually do? The fourth one, we're going to answer the question, is data science a scam? And number five will be my thoughts on the matter. So what is data sciences? Let's have a look at the definition on Wikipedia. So it says that a data scientist is a professional who creates programming code and combines it with statistical knowledge to create insights from data. So a lot of things just to say that basically a data scientist is anyone who is expert on manipulating data and making sense of it. So if I had to define a data scientist, I would simply say that a data scientist is someone who makes sense of data, whether it's financial data, historical data, whatever data you have at hand, whether it's messy, structured, unstructured, whatever format, a data scientist makes sure to collect all of this information make sure to normalize it and then make sense of it via analysis, visualizations and more. So basically just remember a data scientist is someone who makes sense of data. Keep it as easy as this. Second, what is the path to becoming a data scientist? So there is the classical path, going to university, do your, doing your undergraduate in computer science and doing then your postgraduate either in advanced computer science or in data science or any related computer science field so that from there you can become a data scientist. The other path would be to do everything yourself, be a self-learner, learn from the internet, do all the courses, all the certifications from the internet and then start your career from there. So from someone like me who went through the path of university, what I would say is that if you're still in high school, you're still young and thinking, okay, this is the path that I want to follow and you have the means to go to university, then that's a good option. Because in university, as a youngster, you have the structure, you have the lectures, you have the insights from professors that have experience, so you can benefit from it. But if you have less of a budget and you still want to become a data scientist, following the self-learning path is the best one, in my opinion. Why? Even though I went to university, most of the things that I learned, I learned them myself. I got the structure of university, but I got all the learning from YouTube, certifications, Udemy, Coursera, so many amazing resources on the internet, and most of them are even free. So I would highly recommend for you to be a self-learner. It doesn't matter if you go to uni or not, be a self-learner. Because usually, if you're motivated to sit and learn by yourself, there is nothing that you can't learn and there is nothing that you can become a master in. Number three, what does a data scientist actually do? So this is very broad and various. It starts from business understanding. A data scientist is not someone who just works on code and things. It's someone that also understands the business and tries to deliver regarding to the business needs. So business understanding, there's also a lot of uh, data collection, data cleaning, data exploration, visualization, reporting, data analysis, machine learning, deep learning. So as you can see, there is plenty of things that a data scientist can do. And each of these things by themselves are job titles. So for example, you have data visualization uh, jobs and you have then data cleaning and analysis jobs. Then you have machine learning engineers, then you have data analysts. So this is very broad. So when someone says data scientist, it's quite broad. When you go to work in a company, usually you only work in one or two of these segments. So yes, you understand a bit of everything, but it doesn't mean you're going to be deploying machine learning model because your name is a data scientist. That's not true. So many people, they're just in the part where they have to clean the data, analyze it and visualize it. 
to report it to their stakeholders or their superiors. That's their job. Some other people will be more focused on visualization, do everything maybe on Power BI, uh, using SQL a lot, not even using Python for most of the times. Some other people will be mostly into collecting information from websites, from social media, from competitors, and then trying to structure it. So a data scientist doesn't do just one thing, and when you're going to find the job in the real world, you'll see that most of the time you'll be doing one or two tasks, and over the years with experience, you might work into different sections and gain more experience in a broader sense as a data scientist. Number four, so is data science a scam? Data science was the fanciest job title of the past 15 years. And as much as the name sounds fancy, but the job itself is not clear. When you apply for data science jobs, you find some that require NLP expertise, natural language processing. Some others require machine learning expertise. Some want you to be AI uh, bot experts. Some others want you to do visualizations in Tableau. So it's very unclear what people mean by data scientists. And to answer the question very easily, I'd say that no, data science is not a scam. What could be potentially a scam is those very expensive degrees that you will spend five years and paying so much into learning how to become a data scientist while you have so many great resources on the internet that you could learn from by yourself. So I highly recommend to people who are interested into becoming a data scientist, whether you are still in high school or you are an established professional that you want to shift into data science, just spend a few months, enjoy the free resources on the internet. There is even a Harvard course on computer science, 24 hour long. It's the whole semester of six months into the uh, beginner levels of computer science. And you cover everything from the algorithmics to C++ to JavaScript to all of the logic that you need to become really a data scientist and a computer scientist in the first place. And you have it all for free. So just spend a few months, try to understand the basics, and from there see, okay, do I really need to pay for this expensive $20,000 a year courses for five years? That's 100K dollars. That's a lot of money and there's a lot of time to spend as well. So maybe you could use just 10% of it for online education, for mentoring, to uh, pay for subscriptions, apply for whatever, freelancing or internship or things like this. And you might gain way more benefit from going this path than going to university and then from university applying for jobs. So I'd say the benefit of going to university is that people acknowledge you. If you show them a degree, they're like, okay, let's talk. If you don't have that degree, then you need to go through a different path. If you don't have a data science degree, I'd recommend you starting a YouTube channel, for example, doing a lot of projects on the side, showcase them on GitHub, or also start a personal brand on LinkedIn, um, Twitter, or whatever social media that you like, and try to showcase your experience. From there, you can get some projects, either freelancing or from people that follow you. They will give you some projects and you can start from there. From my experience, I recently got a job as a data scientist and the person didn't even look at my CV. They just saw me on the internet, I'm active on LinkedIn, I share my knowledge, they came to me, spoke to me once, gave me a project, I delivered and gave me a full-time job. So I won't say that going to university for five, six years was a, a waste of time. Of course that's not. I learned so many things, I met amazing people, I got a structure. But I also say that there is another path that could be followed if you do it smartly. Not just watching YouTube videos and thinking that, okay, I know. No, do a lot of projects, showcase them on GitHub, speak about them all the time via blogs, social media, YouTube. And this way you can leverage the power of social media and all the digital world to gain benefits in order to get opportunities, work, full-time job, freelancing, really depends on what you want. And here we are at the end of the video. So these were my thoughts on data science from someone who practices it every day in my job. I think that data science is very generic. When someone tells you, I'm a data scientist, just ask them, what do you specialize in? Because I don't think they can specialize in everything. 
except if they are senior and they have like 10 15 years of experience then yes they might have seen everything and tried so many things but still this domain is evolving very rapidly and since ai is also evolving so much these days then even data scientists are constantly learning and that's one of the key aspects and key strengths of data scientists and computer scientists in general is that we are learning constantly you can't just stop and say that i know everything today because in a few weeks a few months there will be new technologies and you don't want to miss them in order to gain advantage in what you do if you enjoyed this video i have a video on how to become a data scientist in 2024 i'll link it just here give it a watch and it will give you all the roadmap that i follow to become a data scientist and i hope it will help you as well thank you for watching